Hi everyone, let's go ahead and get started with Streamlit data object example. Previously we have seen about text display examples, text inputs, interactive widgets, progress indicators. Now we are going to see the data objects. The code for these tutorials are available at my GitHub repository. You can visit Lakshmi Merit Streamlit Tutorials. The link of this GitHub repository is given into a video description. You can get that from there. So this is our reference application. We are going to make it something like this where I'll be showing you how you can display the JSON data, how you can display the data frame and then how you can display the data frame as the table. Thereafter, I'll be showing you how you can integrate the code in your Streamlit application. And then I'll be also showing you the data editor and sample metrics. So these are like how you can show the metrics. If you are making some dashboard, you can actually use this to show as data metric there. Okay, so let's go ahead. First of all, start this working with data object file. To start this, you need to write here Streamlit. I'm just going to write here streamlit run. Okay, cut it here. I write streamlit run 0 05 working with data object. Perfect. So this has started at 8502 port. It has here 8205. I'm just going to refresh this. Once I refresh, I can see here streamlit data object examples. So this is our reference application. We will start with the JSON data and then Pandas data frame. I already have Pandas data frame in the data folder. So in the repository inside this data folder, you will be seeing this auto.csv file. You can see this auto.csv. So we will be reading that auto.csv file. Let's go ahead. First of all, read the JSON data. So I start here with the JSON file. And for that, I make here a JSON data. I write JSON data is equal to here. I write name name is KGP talky and then I write here age is I write 30 year and then it asks about the city then I write here Mumbai all right so this is our JSON data let's display this this JSON data using st dot write and then see what happens here so as soon as I write here st dot ST dot write JSON data. I click on always run. You see that this JSON data got automatically formatted here as the JSON data. Simply you can use here ST dot JSON and thereafter you can simply click on here JSON. Uh, sorry, this should be actually the JSON data, not the JSON date. Okay, so these two things are here. So you can either use this st.write or you can use here st.json. So these, both of these will work for your, you know, the case. So I'm just going to put here st.json. Let's go ahead and see how you can read the data frame and then how you can display this data frame here. It's pretty much simple. I'm going to import pandas as pd. In fact, pandas as pd is already imported there. So I just need to read the data frame. So I write here df is equal to pd read csv and then I go inside the data and thereafter inside that I have a file auto.csv. So I read this file auto.csv and then I display this data frame. So this is magic command here. If you just keep your variable here without writing anything, it will just display this variable here. All right. So it automatically uses here st dot write. Otherwise, you can use here st dot write your data frame. Then you will be seeing that your data frame is written here. That's the one way to do this. Otherwise, you can use here st dot data frame. Then you can put your data frame here then you will be seeing that your data frame is written. So it's the same thing what you are seeing earlier. So I'm just going to comment that one and then I'm going to put here df dot head so that I can just see the first five rows of our data frame. So this is 
usual data frame and if you want to display in the table then you can also display it into the table you can simply write here st dot table and then you can put your data frame dot head now you will be seeing this as the table so what's the difference here so in a data frame you have option to sort your values so it is kind of an interactive table but here this is non-interactive table you cannot sort it so it just got printed here other than that on word label wrapping has happened here but that wrapping has not happened here so you are seeing this whole whole uh, uh, sentence in just single line but here it is broken so you are seeing it into a multiple line so visually i see that this data frame seems more appealing than the age tables there all right Let's go ahead and see if you want to display some code, then how would you do that? For example, let's say this JSON data, you want to display it as the part of a code. Then how would you do that? Currently, we have displayed this JSON data, but this JSON data is displayed here as a JSON data, but it is not the code here. To show it as the code, we know that we can use here markdown. So for markdown, I can use teach to display it as the code but again this markdown is not going to work as you know the full formatted code there so I need to use here a three double code actually yeah so if you see that so you see that it is displayed in the block but again it's not clear as the code okay and other than that, since we have split this into a multi-line, so because of that, seems like this anyway is not working. So, just to make it work as the code, you can do here st.code and then you can use here a three double quote and then you can put your code inside this and then you will be seeing that your JSON data is shown as the code. You can also import OS, you can do these codes as well, like import OS, import JSON, import uh, pandas as PD. So all these things you can do and these things will be shown here as the code format. Alright, do you see all these things? So these st.code you can used to show it as the code format here okay let's see what left here so we have seen the code format only the sample uh, uh, the metric and the data editor part is left here so to see this metric what you can do for example let's say you want to show some uh, uh, metric to the users then you can simply write here st dot metric Let's say you want to show the accuracy of your machine learning model, then you can use this metric as well to show that accuracy. So you say that here accuracy and I say that accuracy is 80% here. Okay, so for that I write here value is 80 and then you scroll it down here, you should be able to see this. Uh, sorry this one is the sample application here we have so you can now clearly see that accuracy is 80 percent and if you are comparing multiple models together then you can show there that what is the difference of these accuracy so i say that this accuracy is five percent better so that you can show as the plus five or you can remove five as well here so by default automatically it take it as plus five if you put it here minus five so it says that here you know uh, the minus five is I mean uh, it's lesser than less than the five percent so you can say that in other language like you can give that your old accuracy let's say 75 percent and my current accuracy is here 80 percent so you can say that new accuracy minus old accuracy so it's a five that means a five percent of the gain you can say that if you're older accuracy was like 75.5 then you will see there there would be a 4.5 you know the gain of your uh, gain of the accuracy all right accuracy gain of your model 
let's go ahead and see the finally how you can use these data frame as editable tables so to show a to 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 show it as editable table you need to write here you need to first get the editable data from st dot data editor and then in data editor you can do df dot head so i'm just gonna show here first five values so the first five values are shown here now you can edit any of these value you can double click and then you can edit it here all right any value whatever the value you want to edit these value you can edit now these value these values are placed in edited data you can simply check those with st dot write with the edited data now as you change the value here let's say this eight i'm making zero now you see that this got changed here and uh, if i make this eight zero as well uh, let me just double click it here and this also zero and here this one as zero now you see all these cylinder values are zero so this is returned as the data frame you can simply write this edited data as the csv file as well so you can simply write here inside the data folder i'm gonna write it as the edited data dot csv and then i say that index is false all right so as it runs here it says that some permission is denied so i'm just gonna make it edited data one okay so this is stored as edited data one dot csv file now you can see that those those cylinder values are filled here as zero all right so these are cylinder values which are filled as zero okay perfect so this is all about in this lesson thanks a lot for watching this i'll see you in next one